Steve, uh, I, I get a lot of attention around the racetrack for my hair, but to be fair, you definitely have the most famous hair in racing. I, get, I met you and I had to give up and cut mine off. I was so intimidated, but uh, most of the time I keep my hair, it's out of superstitions. Things are going so well, uh, I don't want to change anything, so. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I, I go to YouTube and I watch Rachel's Woodward. Uh, just one of the most phenomenal races I've ever seen. She was a Pegasus. She just, uh, I can remember watching her work here on the Oklahoma training track and it, it almost looked like she'd levitate. It almost looked like she'd come off the ground. She was such a smooth mover. And going into the Woodward with her here, three-year-old filly uh, coming off the Haskell win taking on older males as a three-year-old filly and she was tackled early and Durkin's just what an amazing uh, what, race call uh, by an amazing track announcer. Rachel Alexandra Macho again they're coming down to the finish it's going to be desperately close here's the wire Rachel won she is indeed Rachel Alexandra the great. I remember try, trying to do the interview in the winner's circle after the race and the Rachel herself, she's walking down the race racetrack on, uh, on her way to the test barn and it's the people as they just crowded the rail as she went down. It was, uh, what a beautiful memory that is. I think maybe some newer fans to the game would be a little bit shocked at the fact that you haven't ever won the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> well, it's shocking I, to I me have a right, well. I'm, I'm into records, right? <laughs> so 0 for 23 being the record, not, you know, not the one that you want, but one, the one that you have. With the opportunities that we're given, we should win it. To think that I've had Curlin and Gunrunner beaten in the race is surprising to say the least, but uh, we'll, get it, we'll get it figured out and there's one in our future and uh, it'll just be all that much more special when we get it done. Steve, you mentioned your family and, and how important your family is and, and being in a racing family. And what was it like with Superstock this year and, and winning that Arkansas Derby uh, for your family? It was extremely emotional and an uh, unbelievable blessing. And during the pandemic, uh, Keith, my oldest son, able to gallop for us at the barn. And if not for him galloping uh, at the time, Superstock most likely would have been sold in an in-training sale as a two-year-old. He had breezed him one morning and asked his grandfather if he could you know, ride him in the afternoon and then he won a stake with uh, Keith, my son, for my father Keith. Uh, you know, how does it get any better than that? And then as you mentioned, the Arkansas Derby this year, uh, my parents being part owners uh, with Irv Woolsey and Horse winning a grade one, uh, the whole family there, having that moment to share what a, what a great feeling it was. It feels like it's a foregone conclusion. I don't want to mush you here, but it seems like you're going to eventually become <laughs> the winningest trainer yeah. in, in the history of North American racing. At, at what point of your career did you say, you know, this is actually a possibility? It's been a target of ours for a long time, and uh, I, I just very much want to be the all-time leading trainer. You know, you take out, you grow up in a racing family, and you take out your trainer's license, is, it's to compete, and to, to, we expect to get it and then to add to it soon after that. I gotta tell you selfishly, I, I'm, I'm hoping that it happens here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, At this point, I'm wanting it to happen. I'm not gonna get too choosy about the win and the wear, just get to winning, you know? Get, uh, we gotta get to winning. Owners out there, let Steve drop a horse here so he can break the record here at Saratoga. Well, I don't have any up here that I'm wanting to move along. So they, uh, I think they're going to have to win in the, in the spots they belong in. And that's what we plan on doing. Well, good luck. We're rooting for you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.